This club has its own way of honouring him. Every game we play and every game we win, in itself we say is a tribute to Richard. Abby Jones, BBC Northwest Tonight. Uh, well, to talk about this more in our Merseyside newsroom, as you can see uh, this evening, is Professor John Summeru, who is a consultant cardiologist. Uh, good evening to you, Professor. Good evening. Um, without being too technical, could you just explain what this condition is? Well, uh, sudden cardiac death is where uh, a person uh, unfortunately dies suddenly, uh, usually believed to be due to a problem with their heart. This is unexpected, sudden, as I've said. And there are a group of conditions where no cause is ever found, about 1 in 20 of those, no cause is ever found, uh, and that's called sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, or SADS. And how rare is this? Well, about 1 in 200,000 athletes per year would have one of these events. It actually sounds very rare, but unfortunately uh, that works out about 12 uh, young people under the age of 35 per week in the United Kingdom which works out at 600 per year, so it's actually more common than you think. And whenever we've reported on this kind of sudden death, it is always somebody young, fit, very healthy uh, on the outside. Is there any link there between someone who pushes their heart as a professional athlete and triggering this condition? Well, unfortunately, some of these conditions which are uh, sort of indolent, they're latent, you don't really know you have them, they can lie in the background, and then as you uh, push yourself through sports, your heart can become more enlarged uh, and as a result of that you can trigger one of these events which unfortunately may result in sudden death. You may get some symptoms beforehand such as chest pain but in this case chest pain then sudden death. Mm. And is there any way of detecting it? It sounds like the medical profession doesn't really have a great handle on it at the moment. Well um, most professional athletes are actually screened now. Um, there are screening programs throughout Britain, uh, in fact throughout the world and if you go to places such as Italy uh, they screen all their athletes, young people from the age of 12 onwards, and they've seen an 89% reduction in sudden deaths of young people by a screening program. That's funded by their government. Uh, in this country, we do have screening programs uh, which tend to be charitable organisations such as Cardiac Risk and the Young. So you can screen this out, and, and screening is not actually that difficult. Uh, you take a, a history uh, from the athletes, such as asking whether you have chest pain, uh, then you can have a brief examination. Uh, an ECG, an electrocardiogram. Okay. Uh, so you tend to just do quite simple things and may go on to have a heart scan, but not in everyone. Thank you very much for explaining that. It's much appreciated, Professor John Summary. Uh, now more news from around the region. Uh,